Hello and welcome to the first Domain 2 lesson where we'll cover assets, inventory, and labels. So let's get right into the definition of what an asset is. Assets can be anything of value to the company, but in the context of the CISSP framework, we're mostly talking about data and devices. So how do we value these things? There are two methods we can use. The first is qualitative. And as the image suggests, this refers to the opinions of others. The second is quantitative, which is numeric in its approach. The easiest way to remember this is that quantitative starts with the word quant, or quantity, which is typically a number, so you can easily relate the word quantitative with quantity. Classification is the process of assigning tags or labels to the company assets. For example, most of us work with the most basic classifications like confidential, which requires a lot of effort to protect. On the other hand, you have public, which is basically open to public disclosure, like a company's financial statement, such as a balance sheet. You might also have proprietary or sensitive information, meaning that only internal folks can access it, and maybe you won't need to apply role-based permissions to it. An asset inventory is a tool that can help with the valuation, classification, and protection of company assets. The elements that comprise an asset inventory can be seen here, and this is just a crude example. There are applications that can handle this for most organizations, but the common body of knowledge provides these basic categories that you see here. Here are the asset classification steps, and I don't know how testable this is, but it's important to know that classification relies on the value of the asset, and the protection level relies on the classification. You can remember the entire process with the acronym CACPA, or CATPA, as the image shows here. The asset protection process is related to the classification process, and it has the following steps. Valuation. This is where the asset is located and where the value is assigned. Then the asset is classified and an owner is determined. And remember that this step relies on the value. And the next step is to protect it based on its classification. This is also where the baseline is established and the owner is held accountable for the protection of it. Some assets should be labeled based on their classification. This is often referred to as tagging or marking as well. Examples are stamping the interior of a folder or file, confidential or top secret, renaming the file with a label, or putting something else in the subject line, something that indicates the classification of the content of the email. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please visit our website, cissprep.net, for over 1,200 practice questions and our super study guide that contains our notes on the CBK along with our memorization tips and tricks. Thanks and have a great day.